Hey guys, do you ever want to make a Facebook image post so that you have a nice big bright image but then make that clickable to go to a link that you want to promote? Well, that's what we're going to show you how to do in this video. Let's check it out. All right, so here we are on Facebook and I've got this uh, link I want to post and I get there and you've ever posted the link and it comes up with this ugly gray box of doom. Um, you want to get rid of that and you don't want to have that. Now, there's two ways to get rid of this problem. Now, if you own the URL, you can use what's called uh, open metadata or open graph metadata. Um, and basically what this is, is it's a bunch of meta tags that you put on the particular website that you're, that you're creating um, and it tells the social networks this is the preview that I want to show. This is the title I want to show. This is the description of this link. Um, and this is actually the proper way to do it because um, as it's being shared around, you're not going to have control of how pretty it looks when somebody else shares it. If you just, um, if you just put a video or you put a, an image here. Um, here's an example of what it looks like when you have metadata provided. Uh, I'm just going to grab one of my blog posts here then go back to Facebook and refresh. And I paste it in. So this is what it looks like. It's got this nice big card here uh, with a hyperlink on the image so that when you click on the image, it goes right to the post. This is how you want your links formatted, okay? And I'm gonna put a link in the description on that blog post that shows you how to do it. It's just a little tag uh, in your in your code, in your HTML code that you have to put in there. And it basically just specifies, I wanna use this image as my preview image. And then you can put a nice image in here and that blog post also shows you how to create this image. So that is how to make it work on everything. Um, however, if you're in a pinch and you don't have control over the website you're trying to promote, and instead of calling them up and being like, hey, you gotta add meta tags to your website, um, here's a quick and dirty tip um, that'll get it done for you. And that website is called anyimage.io. So if you go to this site right here, and let's say we wanna make it for this website right here. And we're just gonna browse an image. We're just gonna put this image like this. Just browse and you, uh, you're gonna wanna use 1200 by 628, uh, I believe is the file size, but you can check that in the, in the blog post. Yep, image dimensions 1200 by 628. That's the standard that I use. And then you're gonna be able to specify the title. So you're gonna say, a great or Kitchener hockey get registered and then I can put my destination URL in this case I'm just gonna have Kitchener minor hockey um, and I can choose whether I want a small card or a large card I use large is what you saw in that example then you can click finish and it's gonna generate you the link and there's your link. So it's gonna generate this link for you of the card. And when you refresh Facebook here and paste it in, you'll know instantly it'll pop up with this nice, beautiful card. Um, and you didn't have to call the, the administrator for this site to get them to update their image properties. You just took care of it uh, fairly quickly and linked uh, specifically to this URL. So when now you can actually remove this URL from your post and say whatever you want. So click the image if you want to register. Something like that. And then you can post it and it'll look like that uh, on your post. And you can do this on a fan page and on your personal page, which is another great benefit. I know the old video that I made, there was problems. Uh, people were mentioning in the comments that you could only do it on a Facebook fan page. 
Uh, this can be done anywhere, like in a group, in a fan page. It doesn't really matter because you're actually, what you're doing, uh, what this image.io website does is it actually uh, creates a new link and puts proper uh, meta tags on it. That's basically what you're doing. Uh, so you're basically creating a web page in front of the page you're redirecting to uh, and then pre-populating all the metadata, uh, metadata in that link. So a clever little idea uh, that any image.io came up with. Um, and it's a great hack uh, when you're in a pinch like this. Hopefully you got a ton of value out of that video. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button. I wanna replace this video with the old outdated one. So do me a favor and really help me out and hit that like button. Also, uh, if you want more videos like this, go ahead and hit subscribe uh, and we'll see you again.